Hey, what's up, guys? It's Doc Loud here, and welcome back to an episode of the Pokemon Black and White Randomized Soul Link. And I'm joined by Sleeve Card here. Introduce yourself again. What's going on, guys? Sleeve Card here, hanging out. And um, in the last episode, if you guys didn't see that, um, we've had some rough times through this lock already. We haven't beat the first gem yet, but uh, we're here, and we're going to start this off with a team recap. So, uh, one of our pairs starts off with Omar the Numel holding that muscle band with Ember, Tackle, Magnitude, and Growl. And Omar is linked with who, Slave Card? Omar is linked up with Stunner the Elekid. Uh, Stunner has that beautiful adamant nature to boost up the attack, but it is running Quick Attack, Leer, Thundershock, and Low Kick while hanging on to the Rocky Helmets. Mm. Our second pair is Bozo, the Togetek, with Hustle, very helpful there, with Metronome, Charm, Sweet Kiss, and Yawn, holding that King's Rock. All right. And Bozo uh, has the honor of teaming up with Francine, the Vaporeon, who's uh, just got all the way up to level 15. So we finally have a stab move in the form of Water Gun, but also running Tail Whip, Tackle, and Sand Attack, also has Water Absorb, so hopefully I can get hit with a couple water moves and heal up some HP. That would not be the worst thing in the world. Actually, that'd be really helpful. That would be really helpful. Oh, and then, real quick, guys, because a couple of you guys messaged me out on, like, Twitter and YouTube and stuff like that. Um, watching episode 3 or episode 2, something like that. Whichever episode we actually caught Francine in, and were asking me if that's a reference back to when I did... Fire, yeah, when I did Fire Red, um, and yes, so for you, those of you guys who have been on the channel for a while, that is a reference back to when I did Fire Red and we had Francis Drake, our Vaporeon, in that one. How long has it been since you've done that? How long has it been? Um, maybe like eight months. I did it over the summer, like over this past summer. So, I'm now remembering that um, I've already beaten all the trainers in this gym. Did you? I just took on the first trainer uh, where we Bob, got yeah. kind of, yeah, kind of destroyed. <laughs> so I, I guess I'm just going to wait on you then to do this. Alright, so let's see who I happen to run across. Because there's only, what, two? Is there two trainers or three? Uh, let's take a quick look here. I think there's just the two and the gym leader. One, two, two. Okay, then I just have one to take on, and then we'll have the uh, gym leader. I'm kind of curious to see what the gym leader runs, because obviously in the original games it runs whatever elemental monkey has an advantage on your starter. Right. So, I don't know what I'm going to see in this gym. Hopefully, it still has some elemental type, but I mean, you never know. I don't know if you should be hoping for that, because you had a Zapdos, and uh, that gets bodied by a lot of things. That's true, but now I have an Elekid, which gets bodied by, you know, pretty much the same things. Yeah. But at least I'm taking out P-Dove right now, so that's, I mean, one advantage. You're fighting a P-Dove right now? A P-Dove? Oh, and a Glalie! Oh, okay, you got, you got that could be interesting. Kick, You're good. I know. I'm... This is fine. I'm fine with this. Before we actually take on the uh, gym leader, we should definitely check out our healing items. Because I just looked uh -huh. at mine and I have four potions, so I'm going to stock up just a little bit here. That's fine. Um, I'm a lit. I don't think. I don't know how many potions I have. I might have to look at that. I'm just a little afraid what might happen. As you should be. History has told us, you know, going through this lock, that we should probably be afraid. Really has, because Politoed is terrifying. Yeah, it's kind of like I've never, I've never thought about Politoed, especially not at level ten, as being like something to be afraid of. But now, I'm pretty worried about Politoed. I mean, yeah, if you're just rocking out with one mon, Parish Song, Hypnosis, like, what are you supposed to do? Uh huh. All right, so I've taken on. My gym trainer. 
So do we want to run back and get potions, or do we want to kind of press uh, I mean, forward? Run back. Like, I, I have five potions, and I got that fresh water, so I think I'm going to be all right. Uh, let me see what I have on potions real quick before I, I make a rash decision. Because obviously if I go down, you're going down with me. Uh, let's see. I have a fresh water, I have a moo moo milk, and I have four potions. So I think we should yeah, be fine. Right. And if we're not fine, I don't think any of the, uh... Like, all the, all the medicine in the world isn't going to help us if that's not going to help us. You're right, you're right. So, who voiced the gym leader last time? Because I don't remember. I believe that was you. You voiced him uh, when we ran into him in the entrance. That's right. I tried to make him French and I did not do a good job. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Stryton Gym. Oh, I guess I'll do that one. Yeah, I'm Chili. I light things up with the fire type Pokemon. Uh, I'm a water type. My name's Cress. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. And I'm silent. I like grass types. I feel like their hair alone would just tell us what they like. Can I just like guess? Just like. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I see. As for why the three of us um are all here is well, or um uh. It's all you, you chili. Oh, yeah. Oh, enough! Yeah, listen up, yeah! Hoo -hoo. The three of us you will battle will decide whom you will battle. Oh. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you choose, yeah? That is the case indeed. And the partner you first chose was a grass type, it seems. Actually, mine was a water type, I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh. So I'm getting Cress, the water chili. guy. All right, we'll, All right. let's go into battle because. Yeah, they have different dialogue. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Yeah. It's time to play with fire type. I'm the strongest of us brothers. You get Yao. Yeah. Oh, I so say you got Yao. I got like a whole little monologue it's here. It's like Yao. Like it smells like meow, except with a Y. It was like, all right. <laughs> Oh. Alright, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have a new one. <laughs> I have Charmander. Charmander is what popped up he for me. He's a Blastoise right here, like... Oh! <laughs> oh gosh, am I about to lose right here already? Well, I'm swapping out because I have, you know, a water type. So, water type versus Charmander. I think I'm okay. I would say, honestly, if I were in your shoes, I would say put it to sleep. Like, go for the yawn, see if you can put it to sleep. Maybe, maybe you survive a hit. And then that way you can kind of play with metronome. Got, well, I'm so scared of using metronome. Because, like, if I get, that's, if I get self-destruct, like, what am I going to do? That's true. Well, that's what I'm saying. Put it to sleep, too, because otherwise you're going to click metronome. And what You could end up with, like, splash. You could end up with literally anything. Like, I, I'm doing the most right now at this thing, but... Yeah. If it even has, like, water gun at all... I'm, I'm going to look up this thing's moveset right now. Because I'm just <coughs> terrified of it. Yeah, I like, I, I feel you, because it's... It's not something you're going to run across usually at level 12. So, who the hell knows what it is. Okay. At level 12, Blastoise should have Withdraw, Bubble, Tail Whip. And Tackle. Okay. Uh, okay, I can see that. So, I definitely feel like if we bubbled my Numal, it would one-shot him. Because that's quad effective on him. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I have to play around with Metronome, basically. See, meanwhile, I'm just living the dream. I'm sure you're already almost done. Oh, yeah. I've taken out Charmander now. Now I have a Rufflet to go up against my Elekid. So I'm Thundershocking. I, I'm just, I'm living it right here. 
on one side, like, I don't want him to be asleep so he can hit himself in confusion. I just use Doom Desire. <laughs> I don't remember what does Doom Desire do. It's a Jirachi signature move. I don't remember what... Um... So now you're putting me on the spot. I feel like I should know it. I don't know it. Why do I not know what I that know does? What it does. Like, I don't think it's an attacking move. Or is it? Is it like Future Sight but Steel? That sounds right. Let's find out. I'm looking it up. Okay, Doom does... Yeah, it's Future Sight but a Steel version. So, in two turns, you're going to hit for 140 base power uh, as a Steel special All type right, attack. Go back to sleep. Oh, yeah. Just stay alive. And you're and you should pretty much KO that thing. Well, this thing has like no attack now, so the best thing you can hit me with is bubble. Oh yeah, not the powerful tackle. That tackle is gonna be like one HP if he tries to hit me. All he's doing is withdrawing right now, which is scary in its own sense. Well, when uh, you finally get around There's to it, desire. I've already defeated. I've already defeated. I'm, I'm so sure you've already beat them. That was a. Oh. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm really sweating it over here. So can I point out, so the funny thing is, you're facing off against the the fire gym leader, and he has a Blastoise, and I was facing off against the water gym leader, and he has a Charmander. I cannot hit my sweet kiss for the life of me, and it's actually going to kill me. So how much, did Doom Desire do that, nothing? That, like, the damage you see right there is what Doom Desire did. Oh it's my goodness. 140 base, and that's what <laughs> it did, like... <laughs> I hate playing. I don't... It isn't... Like, I don't know if it's, like, <laughs> you just have no no special attack. It has monster special defense. Okay, it, it literally does nothing to me. I used Harden. Are you serious? Yeah. That way you don't have to worry about those tackles that you've already sweet-kissed and charmed yeah, away. Tackle. It got a crit. It got a crit tackle. Oh, oh, oh. Pledge. There we go, there we go. Grass pledge. Okay, alright. At least just super effective. That did decent damage, I'll take it. This is so <laughs> terrible. And the, you know what the really scary part is? You still have no clue what their second mod is going to be. I got Numal. What's he going to do to Numal? Well, I mean, he could have a second Blastoise. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> It's like, oh, you took out my Blastoise? Well, guess what? Go, Palkia! It's alright, I'm about to whip out a Zap Cannon right now. Mm. Please, can I? Mm. Can I, though? Like, that's a perfect world right there. Okay, hit yourself. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's the first time he's hit himself. It did nothing, but... Now you're gonna, now you're gonna Metronome Shockwave. Captivate. <laughs> can we can we please like metronome is like the most frustrating um it, it's like it, it's useful just enough to be frustrating oh my gosh now his bubble his, yeah you better watch out gonna do even less to me now you better watch out he secretly has thunder punch and he's just toying with I, you i would believe it honestly it's like surprise. The ter I have wild charge. The really terrifying thing is that um, rock wrecker. There we go. There we go. Huh? I mean, it has like plus six attack right now, so I'm not even surprised. The the positive thing is that uh, at least you're getting damage in. I, I guess. guess. Yeah. Wait, how does he have plus six he has attack? Withdraw. No, no, no. Defense. 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 Oh, defense, defense, defense. Okay, I was like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> swords dance. Was he running swords dance? Yeah. Harry <laughs> Lace. That did nothing. Yeah, because you need air slash, buddy. Get that special I mean, attack. I do have a king. He used a potion. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm, I'm about to... I'm about oh, to my God. Metronomes. I honestly don't know what to do. <laughs> well, what did you just use? Yes. Razor Wind? Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, basically, you need to start getting some special attacks in that do decent damage. That did decent damage, actually. All right, all right. So you got two metronomes left. So in an ideal world, you'd land like two thunders. <laughs> I feel like one thunder would take this thing out. You say that, but watch, he would live on like one HP just to spite you. And then he would probably super potion or something stupid. You're right, you're right. I mean, it's already stupid right now. Like, you, you defeated this person like five minutes ago, and... <laughs> yeah, that's true. I so, guys... <laughs> and I landed it. You couldn't have you couldn't have gotten that like uh, turn one, huh? A centret, a centret. <laughs> so he's just toying with you. I want you to know we are sixteen minutes into this recording already. Yeah, we're gonna watch an entire episode that is solely gonna be you metronoming Blastoise That's over and exactly over again. Exactly what it is. And this sentry just barely holds on from magnitude. Are we? That's that's fine because you have Ember, don't you? Yeah, and there's your special attack that goes around his harden. You mean his defense curl? Yeah, his defense curl. He's I'm sorry. Such a different He's move. On me, I'm scared. Huh. Okay. All right. Now the other now I the other thing I have big hopes for. And I know we kind of talked about this before the episode. So one, I want to get a decent encounter here. And then two, I also hope that we get like a solid TM. Because the TMs are randomized too. Like obviously I have Water Gun for Vaporeon. But I wouldn't mind like Bubble Beam or Surf or something. I wouldn't mind anything for Togetek. Alright, so let's see what we get. Oh god, they're all talking to me. I got Zen Headbutt. I mean, I'm not mad. I Did you get Zen Headbutt? Oh! Oh, I got Hydro Pump! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Elekid could learn that. I was lowballing myself looking for, like, Bubble Beam and Surf. I could have I could have had Hydro Pump. I, mean, I got Zen Headbutt. I'll definitely take it. Uh, Duh, well, Togetic learns Zen Headbutt, does it doesn't it? Naturally? Um, I think through TM it can learn, I can at least learn, uh, something like that. Right. I don't know. Something, I really maybe. I don't want to teach Togus in head, but his attack stat is trash. Yeah, but don't forget that you can use, uh, these things oh, infinitely. Right, 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 right. you're right. S starting in this gen. Okay, okay. Then yeah, I'll, I'll definitely use it. So, um, I wouldn't sweat it that much. What do you think I should forget? Do you think I should just forget Metronome? Well, okay, okay, so you have what? Metronome, Yawn, Charm, Sweet and... Kiss. And Sweet Kiss? I, uh, yeah, I would probably say Metronome just because you want something that's going to be a steady attack. At least one attacking move that's going to be yeah. decent. Meanwhile, I'm going to get rid of Tail Whip, and we're going to rock out with Hydro Pump you now. to Elekid, too. Ella Kid can learn Hydro Pump? What are you talking he can learn about? Work Up, which is the team that we technically got. Well, let's find out. Because I think that would be hilarious. It would definitely take care of any uh, ground exactly. issues. No, he cannot learn. He can't learn it. It's unable. He can't learn Work Up? That doesn't make any sense. I'm just glad that uh, Vaporeon can I mean, learn Work Up. All right. I'm going to let you uh, take Fennel once you get outside. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can hear it in your voice. Do, do, do. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please, please, follow me. Blue Skadoo, you can too. Woo! You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. Are they now? 
My room is upstairs here. Come on, come on, come on. Go upstairs, go upstairs. I've never had a boy in my room before. So like I said, I'm Fennel. And as you can see, I'm a scientist. That's why I live up in an attic in an apartment building. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. Holla. She asked me to help you guys. Both of you. So? I thought I'd give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. All right, we got HM01 cut. There are some moves that a Pokemon can use even when it's not fighting. Ha 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 ha. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called cut. It can cut down a small tree. And you can use the hidden machine as many times as you want. Just like a TM. Isn't that great? But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you a favor too, because you don't have enough on your hands. There is a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City. I'd like... Some of the dream mist that a Pokemon there named Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync, fourth wall break, to collect sla sla save files of various trainers. Will you do it? Will you do it? Will you do it? Will you do it? All right. Do, do we want to go talk to someone? The mysterious someone who's here. Who's the mysterious someone that's here? The mysterious someone up top. You know, who controls the secret power of the, the Pokemon boxes. Oh, oh, Lynette. Okay, okay. I think that's her name. No, no, no. It's not Lynette what in this game. It's a Manita. Manita? And Manita. I'm Am Manita. Chew, 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 you guys used in Pokemon boxes? <laughs> so, alright. Have all right. you played Pokemon What's Insurgents? Up? Uh, I have watched other people play it. I have not gotten around to playing it all myself. Right. So, in that game, like, HMs don't matter as much because they have other moves that basically do the exact same thing that, what, that like, an HM would do. Like, uh, right. strength, you can use, like, Psychic or Ominous Wind or something like that. So speaking of HMs, not to cut you off there. So I have a little bit of a conundrum no, here. I'm probably going to have the same conundrum. I have, yeah, nothing that can learn cut. Yep. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure Gold Duck can learn it in my box. Yeah, we'll pull, we'll fish something out that can learn it and real quick. I think Swana might be able to for you. If it can't, then you're, I guess you're just going to have to go and catch something. What, chump thing? Something that can do it. Anything. Well, you, you know, Zampados is known for its cutting ability. I mean, it's got those giant claws. It's known for cutting down its foes. And I guess while I'm here, I'm going to heal up, That's too. That's actually probably a good idea. I didn't think about that. You know, you don't want to waste your... One metronome. Uh, I forgot metronome. Oh, it is true. I think they should incorporate that idea, though, of other moves can do the same thing HM moves can do in the games. Yeah, that's true. I forget, um, there's another ROM hack out there where they, uh, instead of HMs, they, they literally carry, like, a Rotom-esque Pokemon that's named HM. And you basically load drives onto it. So instead of having to carry something for cut, you, like, activate your cut drive or whatever. That's really interesting. Hmm. Alright. Moment of truth. Does... Swanna learn cuts? Bum, 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 bum.
So, any luck there? Let's see. No, okay, no so luck. You're going to have to go and catch something that can learn cut. Oh. Uh, and just to be clear, guys, um, my need Reno is not actually on my team. It is simply here uh, to cut things. It, I cannot use it in battle. Ooh. In my shaking grass, I had nose pass. I think the first thing we can do here is let's pause this episode. I'll go find something with cut, and then we can uh, kick back off at the entrance to the dream yard. That way you guys don't have to watch me just run around for a mon that we can't actually use. That's pretty fair. So let's go ahead and end it off here. Alright, let's do it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember, you can always leave a like and subscribe. And remember, uh, Save Cards channel is in the description down below. And if you wish to know when these videos go up, you can follow me and Sleeve Card on Twitter. But uh, we'll see you guys next time over on Sleeve Cards channel. And always remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so have a mango.